Hey guys, it's Happy Rider here. Today we have the all new 2017 BMW 7 Series 750i. The color we're looking at is known as Black Sapphire Metallic. And as you may already know, last year BMW came out with a completely new and redesigned 7 Series, which is the same one we're looking at here. However, this is the 2017 year model. Right away, you'll notice the redesign on the side, which look like a hockey stick there. And as you move around, it is totally and completely redesigned interior and exterior. And when it comes to the inside, the BMW 7 Series is the first vehicle ever with the uh, BMW Series to have a fully touch screen. And in addition to that, it also have the newly adopted uh, gesture control in which you can just simply use your fingers to control the audio volume, turn the uh, audio on or off. And it is a pretty, pretty excited and uh, cool feature to have. <laughs> Luxury at its finest, I'd like to proudly present the all-new 2016 Mercedes-Benz Maybach S600 in radium silver metallic. The Mercedes Maybach S600 uniquely enriches the experience of travel by automobile. Eight additional inches of wheelbase heighten comfort and lengthen legroom. Its proportions are at once majestic and modern. Its elegantly sculpted lines are set off by 19-inch or 20-inch wheels. Brilliant chrome adds radiance to its grilled and side windows. The 523 horsepower 6 liter bi turbo V12 delivers a torrent of torque across its entire ref range for acceleration that's seamless and effortless. Paired with a smooth 7 speed automatic transmission, response is instant whether merging into traffic or passing on a highway. An equal start and stop system and other advances also add its efficiency. The spacious cabin is resplendent in its display of hand craftsmanship. Extraordinarily subtle exclusive Napa leather is hand stitched throughout the cabin, not only on the seats but also the dashboard, ceiling, and pillars. So here's the key fob to the car. On there we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button. You can also press the button uh, on the uh, side here to release the manual key and you can also get the extra additional key fob with all the touch screen for additional money of course now the 7 series of course come with the uh, smart keyless access entry so all you have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse to unlock simply put your hand behind the handle and to lock simply touch right there here's a quick view of the interior To start the engine, simply push your foot down the brake and press the engine start button right here. With the 7 Series 740i, it features the 3 liter twin power turbo 6 cylinder engine with variable valve control and high precision direct injection. Now this engine pushes out 320 horsepower and 330 pound foot of torque and it is an 8 speed sport automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode with steering wheel mounted power shifter and launch control. Now the 750i does feature the bigger engine. The model here, which is the 2017 740i, can hit from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.4 seconds, which is not bad. That's one second slower compared to the 750i, and its top speed is 130 miles per hour. As for fuel economy, it gets 21 miles per gallon in the city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway, and 24 miles per gallon combined. Now gas mileage will really varies and differs depending on how you drive the vehicle and which driving mode you're in. Here's a key fob on there. We have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button in red. You can also move this switch over to release the manual key. My Bach logo on the back. 
Now let's go ahead and unlock it, store it up, and let you listen to the exhaust sound. The 2016 Maybach of course come equipped with a smart keyless access entry. So all you have to do is leave the key in your pocket or purse. To unlock, simply put your hand behind the handle. And to lock, simply touch on the outer side right there. First of all, it comes with the soft closing door feature. And it is very sensitive. Interior come in black exclusive Napa leather along with black designer piano lacquer wood trim. Looks very luxurious. Simply push your foot down the brake and press the engine start button right here to start the engine. Under the hood, the 2016 Maybach S600 features a 6-liter bi-turbo V12 engine. The V12 engine pushes out 523 horsepower along with 612 pound-foot of torque. It is a 7-speed automatic transmission with manual shift paddles mounted behind the steering wheel. The Maybach can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5 seconds. As for fuel economy, the 2016 Maybach gets 13 miles per gallon in the city. 20 miles per gallon on the highway and when combined it gets 15 miles per gallon. Gas mileage will also vary depending on which driving mode the vehicle is in, sports or eco mode. To further enhance gas mileage, there's also the eco start and stop system. When activated, the eco start and stop system will automatically shut off the engine when the my box comes to a complete stop such as red lights or other idle situation. And immediately after you lift your foot off the brake, the engine will immediately restart within a milliseconds. And of course, this feature can be turned on or off by the driver at any time they wish. Up front, you have the automatic intermittent rain sensing windshield wiper with adjustable speed, along with the shadow line exterior trim on top. In the center, we have the uh, iconic BMW double kidney grille with black trim looks extremely aggressive and nice here's the front view camera as part of the driver assisted plus package the bmw icon led headlights give the 7 series its unmistakable appearance with the new three-dimensional semi headlight rings to the led fog light led daytime running lights and automatic high beam and cornering light the new 7 series phase is really unique here's a quicker view here looks extremely aggressive as you can see even without the competition package quick look at the fog light there moving over the side we have the uh, corner reflector light body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light power adjustable feature including power folding, auto dimming and heated function and again, as part of the driver assisted package, there's also a camera below both side view mirror, which give you a complete 360 degree views of your surrounding. This specific model features the standard 19 inch light alloy wheels with run flat tires. Run flat tires allow you to travel up to an additional 100 miles after a tire pu uh, puncture. Behind the wheels, we have the four wheel ventilated disc brakes with anti-lock braking system, composite front rotor dynamic stability control, Brake fake compensation, brake drying, and brake standby with dynamic traction control. And the side stripe design is really unique and overall is a very nice design. Moving to the back, we have the middle LED brake light located behind the rear windshield. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when you put the car into reverse. Parking assist is also built into the rear bumper. 
On both sides are the newly redesigned and eye-catching LED tail lamps with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. Again, very nicely designed. Here's a quick look at the camera. At the bottom, there's the attractive rear diffuser and the chrome exhaust tip. And you also have the 740i batch there. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked to open simply push in. And of course you have to use premium unleaded gasoline. Here's a complete view of the top. This one does feature the uh, tilt and slide sunroof. And it does extend all the way back to the rear seat, which looks really nice when inside. Here it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. And as you can see, as it slides open, it raises upward similar to the Mercedes Benz however the Mercedes Benz hugs the body much more than the BMW here so it just comes to a personal preference as to what you like now let's see what we have inside the trunk it's a 7 series so there's plenty of space in the trunk you can also use the uh, wireless function by standing about a foot away from the trunk and wave your foot below the car and it will automatically open. There's the emergency trunk release. First aid kit on this side. User manual. There's a hook. Same goes on that side. And let's see what we have down here there we have your battery trunk lighting and that's just a tag showing you the uh, wireless trunk hand free open option and that's where you put your emergency triangle you can also lock the car door for back here by pressing that button and this is to close the trunk Up front, the first thing we have is the rain sensing power intermittent windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Moving down, we have the attractive and luxurious grille with the famous 3D Mercedes Benz emblem on top. There's also the built in night vision camera on the front. For enhanced visibility, the S Class is the first car without a single light bulb. It is equipped with full exterior LED headlamps, including bright white LED daytime running lights and LED turn signal lights. Lastly, it also features adaptive high beam assist and corner illuminating front lamps. As you can see, the front face is very attractive. Parking assists are also integrated into the front bumper to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. Moving over to the side, there's the body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light, power adjustable feature including power folding, auto dimming function, and the optional blind spot assist. Lastly, there's also a camera located below each side view mirror. Very nice as you can see there. V12 batch are seen on both sides. This specific model comes with the optional 13 or 20 inch multi spoke wheels. Behind the wheel, there's the brake caliber with Mercedes Benz layering. All four wheels are equipped with adaptive brake technology, anti lock braking system, brake assist system, and the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, there's the LED brake light behind the rear windshield. LED tail lamp with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. LED technology both for much quicker illumination thus giving the driver behind you more time to react. Parking assist and a rear view camera are also built into the rear bumper. 
These are both great safety features and helping the driver back in and out and parking. Further down, there's the silver rear diffuser and the quadruple chrome exhaust tip. As for the gas tank, just make sure the car is unlocked. To open, all you have to do is simply push in. And of course, it is recommended to use premium unleaded gasoline only. The Mybach badge are seen on both sides. Looks very nice and distinctive. Now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk. As you can see, there's plenty of room and space inside. We have all the car mats there, along with the back seat pillow. Here we have a 12 volt car charger outlet. First aid kit. And if we lift this up, we have additional storage compartment along with some of your tools there. Trunk lighting. And you can simply press this button to release yourself from inside the trunk if you ever happen to get yourself locked in. Additional lighting here. And way on top here we have two buttons. The lock button is to lock the car door and this button to the left is lock the trunk only. The Maybach of course come with the panorama roof which looks very nice and luxurious also especially when being inside the vehicle. Here it is with the roof tilt function on. The roof is tinted to eliminate and reduce the sun exposure to the interior. Looks very sporty. And here it is with the roof fully open. Again, this is one of my favorite features of the Mercedes. As you can see, as it moves backward, it raises upward. Looks very nice. Here's a quick look to the back. Now let's see what we have on the driver's side door. Now I forgot to mention, it does feature the soft closing door feature. Lock and unlock button, four power window control. We also have the power sunshade cover control, side view mirror control, side door compartment. Here we have two memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. There's your trunk release switch. BMW door sealed with light, braking gas pedal, hood release lever, simply pull out twice to open, and power front seat control with lumbar support. Here's a closer look at the driver's seat. Seat belt height is not adjustable. The lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors. Now as you can see there's no screen or tablet in the back that does require additional packages. Same style design as the front door. Cigarette ashtray. Power window control. Power sunshade cover control. As you can see there, you can show the rear sunshade cover or the side sunshade cover. 
also the top looks really nice when both of the uh, top are open side door compartment BMW door sealed now again I am five foot seven weighing about 150 pounds so this will give you a bad idea how much leg space you have I have plenty of leg space feel very comfortable here's a quick look of the luxurious front two additional air vent in the rear with full climate control storage compartment there and here we have two additional 12 volt core charge outlet middle portion is raised and split back seat storage in the middle we have additional uh, storage compartment and two cup holders on the end here plenty of storage space back here The back seat does have the latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seat if you need to. On top we have uh, two huge mirrors, one on each side with light. This really comes in handy when you uh, have female uh, passengers in the back, they can use this for makeup. Hand bar with a spot for you to hang your clothes. Lighting control. Forgot to show you the side door lighting here. Looks extremely, extremely luxurious as you can see. And same goes on the other side. And here we are back in the driver's seat. We have the three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. Looks and feel extremely luxurious. Over here we have your different cruise control. BMW logo in the middle with the horn, voice command, Bluetooth phone answering option, and audio modes control, gear shift paddle on each side, windshield wiper control, headlamps control, telescopic steering wheel control, driver air vent, headlamps control. storage compartment driver sun visor with a clip on the side for paper or credit cord you can also move the entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage handball on top very nice moving over to the middle we have the fully and first ever touchscreen display navigation system ever made in a BMW and it is extremely touch sensitive as you can see demonstrated here you can also zoom in and out on the map by using two finger like the pinch just like the iPhone two air vent with the hazard light control in the middle wood dashboard engine start stop button and the automatic start function there now the temperature control right here are touch sensitive so you kind of just have to glide your fingers across and it will change temperature that's where you insert your CD audio volume control press down to turn it off or mute now with the gesture control here you can just point the two finger and twirl your finger like this to control the volume up or down or point two finger again to uh, turn the gesture control off and as you can see it is pretty accurate temperature display control again it is touch screen here you have two cup holders in between then the 12 volt core charge outlet USB input a removable ashtray And as for the shift box, push the button on the side, move up for reverse. When you do so, the complete 360 degree views of the car is shown here with guided lines in the rear, which also move according to the movement of the steering wheel. Side view mirror will also tilt down, giving you better view of the rear. D for drive, push over to left for manual mode, and then push up or down to change gears, or use the gear shift paddles. P for park. 
On the left, we have your traction control, different driving modes, sport, comfort, eco, and you'll notice each different driving mode, you'll have a different display here. Next, we have your parking assist control, camera view control, and your suspension control, power parking brake, BMW I control, multi-direction no, and simply press down to select different uh, display setting here here's the map view main menu radio view and telephone there middle armrest compartment and there you have a USB input along with a 12 volt core charge outlet I also have a slot to hold your phone there glove box compartment plenty of room now for a complete view of the dash head up display is a standard on top we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the universal garage door opener you can simply use these button after inputting the coast to open and close your garage doors. 7 series style lighting. It's blinking due to my camera. Reality does not blink at all and looks very nice and luxurious. Looks really nice when you open both the front and the rear. Now let's take a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Very unique and nicely designed. On top we have the ventilated front seats control with three memory settings for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Power front seat with headrest control and lumbar support there. Surround speakers. door lock and unlock button four power window control at the bottom we have your window lock button on top we have your side view mirror control side door storage compartment and down there we have your trunk release switch again looks very nice as you can see there additional speaker Mercedes-Benz door seal brake and gas pedals that red lever there simply pull that down to open the front hood here's a closer detailed look at the driver's seat Also have the V12 badge on here. Looks very nice and sporty. Adjustable seatbelt height placement. As you can see there, it looks very nice. Now let's go ahead and go back to the back seat. The door lock and unlock feature does work on all four doors. Here's a quick look to the back. As you can see, it's very spacious. Back door does have the sunshade cover, as you can see there. Both power control. We have full power back seat control with three memory setting and ventilated seats also. Here's the surround speakers. Both power window control along with the power sunshade control. Side door compartment. And here's the remote control for the back of screen.
as you can see there when the sunshade cover is down it is very clean and you cannot tell if there's anything there and of course you can control both sunshade cover from uh, each side Here's the rear roof cover control, also located on the side door. And we also have the rear sunshade cover control. Right now, let's go ahead and hop inside. Again, I am five foot seven, weighing about 160 pounds. This will give you a better idea of how much leg space you will have. I feel very comfortable back here, especially when we have an additional eight inches of leg space. Here's a complete view of the front from sitting in the back. Looks extremely luxurious. Two additional air vents for the back passenger here. Have the My Bach imprinted in the middle. Full climate control. Here's a slot for you to put the DVD player for the back uh, views. 12 volt core charge outlet. And here we have a house charge outlet. middle portion is slightly raised up back seat compartment same goes on this side and here as you can see we have a screen on both side looks very clean and crisp here's a complete view of the back seat The back seat are also ventilated. And have complete power control just like the front. And the middle portion here. Let's see what we have. Here we have additional storage compartment. The MyBox has a total of three remote controls. Here we have two cup holders. And as you can see, very uniquely designed. And in here we have a uh, storage compartment in which you can offer the optional cooler feature. Which you can put a cooler in there and to put in wine or things like that. Very nice seat belt that matches the seat very well. V12 batch also seen on the back here. And as you can see the ambient LED lighting for the interior looks very nice as it runs throughout the car. And looks extremely attractive and eye catching when at night. On both sides we have the handboard. Here's the light control. And in the center here we have additional surround sound system. Also have the ambient LED lighting under it. Here we have a huge piece of mirror. Very convenient when it comes to female passengers.
and directly above her head we have the uh, LED lights. Here's a closer look over here. You also have a hook below the uh, hand bar here for your hand clothes or anything you need to. And here's the remote control. Let's go ahead and turn on one of the screen here and demonstrate it to you what it looks like. Very, very clean and high resolution as you can see. Look like the remote control I have currently is uh, controlling the front screen. And as you can see here, the screen is not touch screen, but it has the same style and layout as the front, which is very user friendly. And the other screen will look identical to uh, this one over here when turned on. And we are back in the driver's seat. Steering wheel looks and feels very comfortable. Mercedes Benz logo there. Over here we have the different control which will allow you to control everything that's going to be displayed here on the digital dash. Mercedes-Benz logo in the middle with the horn. Over here we have the voice command, Bluetooth phone answering option, audio volume control, gear shift paddle, one on the right and another on the left. And here's our gear shift box to control, push your foot down the brake, press it lightly up to put the car into neutral, heavy up to put the car into reverse, immediately after you put the car into reverse, the side view mirror will tilt down giving you a better view of the rear along with the rear view camera which also display here with guided lines which move according to the movement of the steering wheel. Very nice safety feature and on the side as you can see here the screen is split giving you complete view of your surrounding. Very nice safety features. Light down again to put the car into neutral. Heavy down to put the car into drive and simply press the button on the end to put the car back into park. Over here we have the right and left turn signal, high beam control and twist the knob on the end here to control the windshield wiper. Back here to the back we have the uh, steering wheel knob control. You can also twist the knob on the end here to control the heating steering wheel function. Here's your adaptive cruise control. driver air vent. Next to it we also have the air blocker. Next starting with the left we have the steering wheel assist, lane assist, parking assist, complete 360 degree camera view, night vision, and lastly is the head up display on the right. Simply press this button once to turn the head-up display on or off. And as you can see there, it is blinking due to my camera. In reality, it does not blink at all and looks very nice and clean. Here's the night vision. Let's go ahead and show it to you what it looked like. As you can see there, the uh, camera takes over and show you complete view of the front, which also looks very nice and a very good safety feature for nighttime. Headlamps control, power parking brake, driver sun visor, also have a clip on the side. Mirror with light on top, which turn on or off according to the open and closure of the mirror. You can now move this entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage and still have another piece in the front. Handball on the side here.
Moving over to the middle, we have the huge navigation system display. As you can see here, it looks very clean and very high in resolution. On the side here, we have the, uh, starting with the top, we have the headrest control, rear sunshade cover control. Again, simply press once to lower it or to press it again to raise. And we also have the interior lighting dimming control. And as you can see here, very nicely detailed stitching. Four additional air vents in the middle with the interlock clock. Here's the air vent control. Next, we have your climate control. Two cup holders, and this piece here is removable. Here's where you insert your CD, and below that, we also have a SD core slot. And here's your control center. On top, we have the massage chair control, navigation display. Here's the navigation view, radio view, telephone view, and media view. Here's the different uh, core setting menus looks very futuristic and I'm using this knob here to maneuver around and you can simply press down on it to select has a light control in the center there over here we have the return button different driving modes control S for sport E for eco and it also display here E and S here the suspension control and lastly, we have the uh, car height control at the bottom. Here's the height control here. And this touchpad on top here works the same exact way as the knob on the below that. The only difference is that it's a touchpad. And you can also press down on it to select returning favorite button over here we have the on and off button here simply press once to turn the display system on or off audio volume control and you can also press down on this to mute the audio and let me go ahead and show you a very cool feature here when you turn the audio on or off as you can see there the speaker turns out when you turn it on and when you turn the audio off or mute it it will automatically retracts as you can see it looks very cool lastly you have the auto start and stop control now let's go ahead and check out the mirror armrest compartment as you can see inside we have another remote control Here we have your USB input. Now this compartment can be open on both sides, which is a very nice convenient feature. Glove box compartment. And there we also have the trunk lock switch. If you switch this over to the lock, you'll not be able to open and release yourself from inside the trunk. Now for a complete view of the dash.
Moving on up, we have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the home link garage system built into it. You can simply input the codes in and use these three buttons to open and close your garage doors. On top, we have the SOS for roadside assistant, different lighting control, and there's another speaker on top. And the middle portion here is used to control the sunroof cover and the uh, sunroof tilt function or open it fully. Let's go ahead and open the cover. Looks very nice as you can see there. Here it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully open. Alright guys, that is it for today. If you haven't checked out my new vlog channel, go ahead and do that. And also check out my official Facebook page for our everyday activity. And I'll see everyone in the next video review. Thank you.